Are you looking for a cool crochet purse tutorial? Then you've come to the right place. I'm Little John Yarns. This is considered an intermediate pattern. We'll be using back posts and front posts to create this basket weave texture. The materials for this tutorial was provided by Premier Yarns. You'll receive a 10% discount on your purchase of any Premier anti-peeling everyday bulky yarn. Make sure you download Premier's free pattern to follow along to this crochet purse tutorial. We will be using Premier Everyday Yarn, which is a number six bulky yarn in the colors black, aqua, and linen. And I actually needed more skeins than the pattern suggested, so above is my recommendations. We'll need three crochet hooks, a five millimeter, six millimeter, and a 6.5 millimeter. Let's hop into the pattern breakdown. Our pattern is formed from the inside outwards. We'll start by forming the base, which is created by back and forth rows. Then we'll move on to the short sides, which is created and also back and forth rows. And lastly, we'll move on to the long sides. In this tutorial, I will not be teaching you the pom-pom or the loop tassel. Here are the video timestamps so you can easily navigate this video tutorial. Before we start, make sure you go over to the Premiere website and download the free PDF so you can follow along to this tutorial. And this will be a great opportunity for those who don't know how to read a pattern to follow along and learn. All right, to begin, we are going to use a six millimeter crochet hook and we're gonna use our A color, the main color for the pattern. Mine is the color black, but since it's so difficult to see the color black on camera, I'm just gonna switch over to this orange just for demonstration purposes. All right, like I said, start with your six millimeter crochet hook. We're gonna begin with a chain of 46. After you have your chain of 46, we are gonna single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So this is one and two, this is your second chain. And we're gonna single crochet in each chain all the way across. So you can pause your video here, continue placing one single crochet in each stitch all the way across until you make it to the other side. I'll meet you there. Okay, we've made it to the other side of our work and we have this row of single crochet. Like I said, I know it's hard to see, but this part of the pattern is very easy. We're just gonna chain one. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. Turn your work. And we're gonna single crochet into the very same space. Same stitch, that is. And we're gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way across. All right, you can pause your video here, continue placing single crochets all the way across, and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, we made it to the very end of our second row, and we're just gonna repeat this row two for 16 more rows. That's just chain one and single crochet across for 16 more rows. So pause your video here and repeat that row 16 more times. All right, once you complete your additional uh, 16 rows, you're just going to fasten off your work. All right, we're gonna attach our new yarn, color B, or for what I'm using, I'm using aqua. I'm gonna attach it to the very far corner of the long side of your work. I know it's very hard to see this yarn, but I'm attaching it to the very first single crochet. All right, and once you have your single crochet, you're gonna chain one and single crochet into the same space. And we're gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So I'm working across my work as I go. So you can pause your video here. Continue placing one single crochet all the way across for a total of 45 single crochets. I'll meet you there. Okay, we've made it to the other side with our 45 single crochets. And we're at the corner, so we're gonna chain one. Turn your work. We're gonna evenly space single crochets, 17 of them going down the side of your work. So one, two, three. 
So you can pause your video here, continue placing evenly spaced single crochets of 17 all the way down the side of your work. And I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, we've made it back to the other side. And just like before, we're going to chain one and repeat. You're going to place one single crochet all the way down the bottom of your work. There should be a total of 45. And when you make it to the corner, you're going to chain one and place 17 single crochets across the other side. And we're going to slip this to join. I'll meet you there. So pause your video here. Continue placing the remainder of your single crochets around the border of your work. And I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it to the very last corner of our work, but this time we're not going to chain one. We're just going to slip this to join into the very first single crochet. All right, at this point in pattern, we're going to drop our six millimeter crochet hook and we are going to pick up our size 6.5 crochet hook. We're going to turn our work and we're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch right here. slip stitch. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. We're going to DC double crochet in the next 16 stitches. So we'll go over into our next stitch right here. That's one. Oop, yarn got twisted. Two. and so forth. Continue placing um, one double crochet until you have a total of 16 double crochets. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. We've made it to the very end of this row and we're just gonna place one double crochet into that chain one space at the corner. Okay, for your next row, we are going to chain two. One, two. Your chain two will count as a double crochet in this part and through the rest of the pattern. We're going to begin by placing four front post double crochets into the next four stitches. So to do a front post, you yarn over, you go behind your post, that's the long stitch right here, and push it forward, hence front post double crochet. And you complete your double crochet as normal. Yarn over, pull through two and yarn over and pull through the last two. That's your first one. I'll show you again. Yarn over, go behind your work and push that post forward and complete your double crochet as normal. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's two. Front post double crochet. Three. And we're going to do our fourth one, front post double crochet. And for the next part, we're going to do four back post double crochets. To do that, it's like the front post, but just slightly different. You're going to yarn over, go behind your work, see behind your whole fabric. Then we're going to push that post backwards, hence the name, back post. You're pushing it backwards and you can complete your double crochet as normal. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is a back post double crochet. Let's do it again. Go behind your work. We're going to push that post backwards. Complete your double crochet as normal. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That was number two. Back post double crochet. three, back post double crochet for your fourth one. And that is going to be our pattern sequence all the way across. So your next four will be four front post double crochet, followed by four back post double crochet. All right, you can pause your video here and I'll meet you when you make it to the very end of your row. All right, we made it to the very end of the row and you're, we're gonna place a half double crochet into your chain space right here.
All right, for our third row, we're just going to repeat row two. That was the row you just did. Remember, you're just going to chain two, one, two. Front post double crochet into the next four, followed by back post double crochet into the next four. Front post double crochet into the next four, followed by a back post double crochet into the next four. And you can pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of this row and we'll work that last stitch together. Okay, we've made it to the last stitch in our third row and we're going to place a half double crochet into this chain space. All right, for row four, we're going to chain two, one and two. Turn your work. This row's going to be slightly different. We're going to place four back post double crochet into the next four stitches. So I'll show you how that's done. Let me pull out some yarn. Remember, you go behind your work and push that post backwards. So that's one back post. two back post, three back post, and four. All right, we're going to repeat, not repeat, now we're going to place four front post double crochet into the next four stitches. See, these are back posts down below, but we're going to make it front post now. Remember, we're going to push that post forward. That's one, two, front post, three, front post, and four. Now you're going to repeat that pattern sequence all the way across. So back post double crochet into the next four followed by front post double crochet into the next four, and we'll work the very last stitch together. Okay, we made it to the very last stitch in that row, and we're going to place a half double crochet into that very chain space at the end. Half double crochet. Your next row is just going to be a repeat of your last row. So you're going to chain two, turn your work, you're going to back post double crochet the next four, front post double crochet the next four, back post double crochet the next four, front post double crochet the next four, and we'll do the last stitch together. As you can see, those um, repetitive um, rows create this nice little basket weave that you're starting to begin to see. All right, so pause your video here, repeat that last row one more time, and I'll meet you at the end. We've made it to the very end of this row and we're going to place a half double crochet once again at the very end of your chain. I mean your chain space. So half double crochet. And if you follow along to the pattern, right now we're on row six. So for the next two rows, I want you to repeat row two. Then for two more rows, I want you to repeat row four. I know that sounds confusing, so I'm going to leave a timestamp below for row two and row four. So repeat row two twice, then repeat row four twice, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we repeated row two two times, and we also repeated row four, four I mean two times. <laughs> and this is what your work looks like so far. So guess what we're going to do again? <laughs> we're going to repeat row two two more times, and we're going to repeat row four two more times, once more. So once again, I'll leave a timestamp exactly where row two is and a timestamp exactly where row four is, and you repeat both of those rows two times. All right, pause your video here and come back when those rows are complete. Okay, we just finished our last four rows, and guess what? One more time, we're going to repeat the last four rows all over again. So, you're going to repeat row two two times, followed by a repeat of row four twice. And once you're all done, you'll have a total of 17 rows. So, complete those last four rows, and I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, we finished our additional rows, so all you have to do now is fasten off your work. Let's review our pattern and make sure all of our rows match up. So, make sure your work is on the right side facing up. Look to the left hand side of your pattern and we're going to follow the bumps to make sure yours match. So, we're going to start at the bottom. It's a short smooth followed by a bump bump, smooth, bump bump, smooth, bump bump, smooth, bump bump, and smooth. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but if you're following along, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So make sure your pattern lines up exactly like that. We're going to repeat the same exact thing on your other short side. And once your other short side is done, we're going to move on to the long side of your work. All right, so pause your video here and I'll meet you after you complete your second short side. This pattern is worked in mirror image of itself. So what's done on one half of the row is done in reverse on the second half. For less confusion, make sure you're following along to the written pattern. Okay, right now we're working on the long side of your tote and make sure it is the wrong side facing up. What we're going to do next, we're going to attach the yarn to the very last stitch of the long row. As you can see, here's your double crochet and here's the last V. That's the last stitch of that row. So attach your yarn. I like to tie a knot in mine. Some people just start with a slip stitch. So once you have your yarn attached, oh, make sure we're still using the 6.5 crochet hook. We're going to chain two, one and two. Your chain two does not count as a stitch right now. We are going to double crochet into the very same space. And we're going to double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So you can pause your video here, continue placing one double crochet in each stitch all the way across until you make it to the other side. You should have a total of 45 double crochets. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of this row. Okay, we're on the very last stitch. We're about to complete our 45th stitch of our 45 double crochets. And we're going to change colors halfway through this 45th stitch. So yarn over, go into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull through two. And once you have two loops on your hook, we're going to um, switch over to your uh, third color. For me, which is tan, I'm going to attach that tan on the hook and pull through the last two loops on the hook. And now the color is changed. All right, so next we're going to chain two with our new color, one and two. And we're going to turn our work. Excuse me if I shake the camera. My project is starting to get a little large. Okay, and I'm going to weave in all my ends after I'm all done. We are going to front post double crochet across the next four. So yarn over, front post the next one, not this stitch here, but the very next one. So that'll be considered one. Two. Three. And four. Next, we're going to back post double crochet the next four stitches. So let's do back post behind your work. One, two, three. and four. This is going to be our pattern sequence all the way across. So you're going to front post double crochet four, back post double crochet four, front post double crochet four, and back post double crochet four all the way across until you make it to the other side. And I'll do the last stitch with you at the other side. All right, so pause your video here. Okay. 
we've made it to the other side and we're going to work that last stitch together. So yarn over, we're going to do our last front post double crochet together. Now we're going to chain two. If you're following along to the pattern, right now we are on row three. So we're going to turn our work. We're going to back post double crochet into the next four stitches. This first stitch is kind of hard to do a back post double crochet. So what you're going to do is just place a double crochet in between your two stitches right here where my finger is. So place your double crochet. That will be considered your first back post double crochet. Now we're going to front back post double, back post double crochet into these next stitches. So that was one. two, three, and four. If you guys ever find that this video is moving too fast, if you're on a laptop, look down to the bottom of your viewer, you'll see a little gear button. You can click that and you can slow down the video to your liking. Or if you're on a mobile device, there's three little dots at the top of your viewer. You can click that and also slow down your um, video. All right. For the next four stitches, we're going to front post double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Next, what we're going to do is something called a mesh stitch. All it is is chains and double crochets. To do that, we're going to chain one and skip a stitch and double crochet into the next. We're going to do that four times. So this is one, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. This is two, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. That is three, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next, and that is four. Now we're going to back post double crochet around the next four stitches. One, two, three, and whoops, four. Next, we're going to mesh stitch twice. So that's chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. That's one. Chain one again, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. And that will be two. Next, we're going to back post double crochet into the next four. One, two, three, and Four. And once again, we're going to mesh stitch four more times. So that's chain, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. So this will be one. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. Two, chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. That's three. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. And that is four. Now we're going to front post double crochet around the next four stitches. One, two, three, 
three and four and we're going to back post double crochet around the last back post double crochets one two three and four and in your last little chain space here we're going to place a half double crochet so that is the end of this row so I'm going to pause here for a second to give my hands a little break and we'll start up on row four next okay now we're ready to begin row four to do that we're going to chain two one two and make sure you turn your work we're going to back post double crochet around the next four stitches so back post push that stitch backwards one two three and four we're going to front post double crochet around the next four stitches one two three and four now we're going to mesh stitch into the next four spaces from the previous row so to do that we're going to chain one double crochet that's one chain one double crochet into the next space that's two chain one double crochet into the next space that's three chain one and double crochet into that last space now we're going to back post double crochet around the next four stitches so back post around your previous rows front post so back post four one two three and four we're going to mesh stitch into the excuse me we're going to place two mesh stitches into the previous spaces from before so chain one mesh stitch into the next space I mean double crochet into the next space chain one and double crochet into the next all right let's see where I am on my pattern all right we're going to back post double crochet into the next four so back post push those back one two three and four now we're going to mesh stitch into the next four spaces so chain one DC into the space that's one chain one DC into the next space that's two chain one DC into the next that's three chain one and DC into the next and that is four next we are going to front post double crochet into the next four stitches see these stitches even though they're back post from the previous row we're going to front post double crochet into them one 
two, three, and four. And for your last set of four, we're going to back post double crochet into the last four. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to place a half double crochet in the very end of this row. All right, I'm personally going to pause the video here, give my hand a rest, and we'll start up on row five. Okay, now we're ready to begin row five. To do that, we're going to chain two, one, two. We are going to turn our work. Oop, I lost my chain two. There's my second chain. All right, next, we're going to front post double crochet around the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. We're going to back post the next four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to mesh stitch across the next four spaces. So that's chain one, double crochet into the next. That's one, chain one, double crochet into the next space. That's two, chain one, double crochet into the next space. That's three, chain one, and double crochet into the next space. And that is four. Next, we're gonna front post double crochet around the next four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to mesh stitch the next two spaces. So chain one, double crochet into the next space, chain space. That's one, chain one and double crochet into the next chain space. That's two. Now, we're going to front post double crochet around the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. We're going to mesh stitch over the next four stitches, I mean four chain spaces. So to do that, we're going to chain one, double crochet into the chain space. That's one. Chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. That's two. Chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. That's three, chain one, double crochet into the last chain space. And that is four. Now we're gonna back post double crochet into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four, and we're going to front post double crochet into the last four stitches. 
one two three and four and we're going to place that half double crochet into that chain space at the end all right for your row six we're just going to repeat row five all over again so pause your video here and repeat row five all over again i'll leave a timestamp below on where row five begins so pause your video here and I'll meet you at the end of your row six. We've just completed row six. Now for the next 12 rows, we're just gonna do a pattern repeat. We're gonna repeat row four two times, followed by a repeat of row five two times over and over. So you're not confused. We're gonna check out on the very next scene how we're gonna map out these very next 12 rows. You're going to repeat row four two times, followed by a repeat of row five two times. You're going to repeat this sequence until you have a total of 12 rows. Pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of your 12 rows. Okay, we completed our additional rows and this is what it looks like. And if you look down from the very center of your work where you have the mesh stitch with only two stitches, you'll notice that each side is mirrored exactly. So to double check to see if your stitches are right, we'll do our little bump bump method. As you can see, I already worked ahead and sewed our sides together. But let's look. We'll start at the very bottom and we'll start with a short, smooth, bump bump, smooth, bump bump, smooth, bump bump, smooth, bump bump, and smooth. If it's not exactly the same, yours might be on the reverse side, so check that side also. So go ahead and do the same exact panel on the opposite side of your work, and then we'll move on to sewing our work together. Now that the base of your purse is complete, you're going to sew the sides together. Use any sewing technique that you feel comfortable with. Okay, now we're going to be working around the border of our purse since we have it all sewn up and together. We are also going to drop down into a six millimeter crochet hook and we're switching into our color A yarn. For me, that is the color black. We're going to start by attaching your yarn to the very corner of your work and chain one. We're going to single crochet into the very same stitch and we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're going to begin working in the round. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochets in every stitch, um, excuse me, every stitch, and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it back around, but we're not going to slip stitch to join. We're just going to single crochet on top of the previous single crochet. We're going to continue working in continuous rounds. So single crochet into top of your very first single crochet. And I would suggest using a stitch marker so you never lose place at the beginning of your round. Stitch marker. And you're going to continue placing single crochets in the color black for an additional two more rows. Then we're going to switch over into our linen color and do another additional two more rows of single crochet, followed by another color change of one row of aqua. So, so it's not confusing, two rows of black, two rows of tan, one row of aqua. On the next scene, I'm going to list exactly what color rows goes next, so you're not confused. All right, so pause your video here, and we're going to finish these last additional rows. Now, we're going to move on to the handles. But before we do, we're going to drop down to a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And once you have your 5 millimeter crochet hook, you are going to chain 100 chain stitches. And once you have your 100 chain stitches, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Understand it's very hard to see with this black yarn, but count over two stitches, one, two, and single crochet into the second chain from the hook. 
and we're going to single crochet in every single stitch all the way down. So pause your video here, continue placing one single crochet stitch all the way down your work, and I'll meet you at the other side. Okay, we made it all the way to the other end of our work. As you can see, I've already did a couple more rows, but all the rows are an exact pattern repeat. What we're going to do for the next row is chain one, turn your work. I know it's hard to see, but we're going to single crochet into the very same space because your chain one does not count as a stitch. And we're going to single crochet in each row across. We're going to do that for five additional rows until you build up a nice thick strap. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochet rows for another additional five more rows, and I'll meet you at the end. Once you're all done with your straps, we're going to begin to sew it close. You might notice mine's a little bit thinner. I ran out of yarn, so I had to make adjustments. To begin sewing your straps, you're going to count seven stitches up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because we're leaving the first six stitches unworked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to begin to, oops, sorry, bump the camera. We're going to begin to sew this closed. And by leaving the first six stitches unworked, this is going to be the flat part that's going to be sewn onto your purse. Continue sewing up the length of your work until you make it to your last six stitches and you'll leave that unworked also. So pause your video here and I'll meet you when it's time to sew onto your purse. Once you're all done sewing your um, tube together, this is what it should look like. A nice little tube and flat ends on the side. And I left the long tail for sewing. You're going to turn your bag inside out so we can attach the handles. I'm going to place one handle here and the other flat side right around here. And you're just going to continue to sew around the edges to attach each one of your handles. All right, once your handles are attached, I'm going to show you what the bag looks like complete. This is what your purse looks like with the handles sewed on. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other crochet tutorials. Okay, guys, I'll see you all on the very next pattern.